I'm Chris Chalker, and I'm a disaster mental health worker with the American Red Cross. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to folks with some tips about what to do if you're ever caught in a tornado, and particularly in the aftermath of a tornado when you're trying to uh, recover and, and put life back to normal. And I think the thing that's most important to tell people of any age uh, is that sometimes we want to be really brave and we want to be really strong and, we, and, and sometimes we see that strength and that resiliency in people but you have to be also to know that it's okay to talk about this and to find a loved one or a friend or someone that is with the Red Cross or another agency that you can talk to and um, take care of yourself because sometimes we're so involved with taking care of other people and their needs particularly our children that sometimes our needs uh, are set aside and we really sometimes have mental health needs to the point that if we've experienced a loss either of a loved one or have people that have been hurt or just losing our material possessions or things in our lives or an upheaval that we have to be able to to talk to people about that and to go to people that we're comfortable with and I think the thing to tell little children and, and about kids is if you're ever separated in a tornado or a storm uh, of that nature to find a safe place to go and that goes without saying for everyone but particularly the children not only finding a safe place to go but somebody that you can safely talk to and be able to take care of you and that would be someone that you either know a loved one, a friend, a neighbor, perfect place is our second family, and that is our school. And so when you return to school, that is a good place to be around loved ones. But make sure that instead of a stranger, that you are embracing someone that you know or that you are a friend with or it's a neighbor or a loved one. If there aren't those people available to you, find somebody that has identification, like a Red Cross worker. We all wear our identification badges and we all have ID and so do your policemen and your firemen find someone that is a worker that can help you uh, so that you're safe and that's the most important thing. Other tip would be for children and in dealing with kids they like to really sometimes hold things in. It's really good to make sure that you know uh, that they're going through things just like adults do, but sometimes it's hard to read those, and kids will hold that in. They need to be able to talk and express themselves in those situations too. And that that second home, again, is the school, so when you return to school, you have that safety net there uh, that sometimes takes the place of the family when the family's trying to put it together. So I would think those are the most important things. The big thing in, in ending here, the really big thing, is make sure you are in a safe place with people that you feel safe with when you're dealing with a tornado or a windstorm disaster.